What's going on, my PT peeps, my Walking Dead family, and my fighters? I'm One Eye Bry, also known as PT. You don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the Walking Dead universe. And did you catch these things from the many teaser trailers of the Walking Dead world beyond? Now, we're going to talk about a lot of different things, how it may connect with the Rick movies, the Walking Dead, the Endgame, CRM, everything related to the Walking Dead universe. So, obviously, spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead. And I'm super excited to watch The World Beyond. I want to see how it all connects. But before we get to it, guys, please hit that subscribe button. We have a goal of 100,000 subscribers, and we're super close to achieving that. But we need your help to do it. Hitting the thumbs up button, just liking this video and liking the channel really helps out. If you want to donate to the channel, you don't have to, but even the smallest donation helps. But we have a Patreon, a membership program, but also live streams every Sunday, and of course, my book series which is titled Fight For Us and available on Amazon in paperback and digital format on Kindle. It's a zombie apocalypse story set in the future. Power is my latest book right now. They're all available right now. We have 12 books while 13 included my prequel. The 13th book of Fight For Us is going to be Reckoning. So it's really the 14th book, but of the Fight For Us main series, it's the 13th book that will come out very, very soon. And I'm super excited to share it with you. Now, The World Beyond is the latest show spinoff of The Walking Dead universe, and I want to see how it connects with a bunch of different things. And I'm kind of excited for one thing, CRM, and to learn more of that story. Now, The Walking Dead World Beyond is only a two-season Walking Dead story. Whether we like it or not, it's going to be two seasons. And I find that very interesting, and it really jumps out into me that it's going to connect with either The Walking Dead and or the Rick Grimes movies. Now it makes sense, Felix Carlucci, played by Nico Tortorella, knows exactly where Rick is. Now why does that guy know where Rick Grimes is? Rick Grimes has no connection with the world beyond unless the world beyond is going to connect with Rick at some point. Now let's look at the notebook here. And I believe this is Iris's notebook. And it's pretty interesting, right? We see a couple of different things that I'm going to highlight. We're gonna break it down for you. One, we see the United States the continental United States. We don't see Alaska or Hawaii, but we see a couple things here. Let's go to the top left, Portland. Then the Civic Republic, Omaha, Campus Colony, and then we see question marks. Boom, they just pop up in the next shot. And it's interesting where the question marks are. Let's highlight a couple of different things first. Now I have a different video that I posted a couple days ago, and I don't know why people didn't see it, people weren't getting notified about it, but I talk about CRM, being potentially three different regions, the three rings, three different shows, three regions. It makes sense, but I believe there's a fourth area that we're gonna talk about in a second. Let's get back to the map. Now, the question marks are all over the map and they're in specific states, which is pretty interesting, right? We'll talk about it, don't worry, we'll break it down for you. But Omaha, Campus Colony, Nebraska. I hear Nebraska's nice, right? Rick Grimes, season two of The Walking Dead. Who knew way back when from these two guys walking to a bar, Nebraska, bing bada boom, another show that takes place in Nebraska. Now, back to the map. Let's talk about this question mark that I highlighted right here. It's clearly Virginia, Pennsylvania, maybe even a little Ohio and West Virginia. This question mark is California, obviously, right? So. California is where Fear the Walking Dead started. The other one was Virginia, Pennsylvania area, potentially. This one, Texas. Fear the Walking Dead's connection to that. Fear the Walking Dead has been in California, Mexico, and Texas. There you go. Bing, bada, boom. Next one, right here. What state is that? New Mexico. Why is there a question mark there? Could Carol and Daryl go to a new frontier? In New Mexico, they talked about it early on in season 10, episode one, and we know that Carol and Daryl are getting a spinoff later on in 2023, so could they go there? Let's get back to the photo here. What did I highlight here? It looks like DNA, the double helixes, right? How is that a big factor in the world of the world beyond? It makes sense because we're going to meet Dr. Leo Bennett, who is a biochemist and a geneticist who just happens to be the father of Hope and Iris, two of, if not the main cast members of the world beyond. So DNA and genetics will play a big factor in the world beyond and possibly the end game of The Walking Dead. Now, if you haven't seen my other video where I talk about Rick's CRM location plus my CRM cure theory, definitely check it out. 
we talk about more of the possibilities of genetics, kids, DNA, what the end game of The Walking Dead could be. Are they working on a cure? Will they succeed? Will they fail? We'll probably find out. Now I could see them working on a cure and it fails. And these are the Bennett's right here. We're gonna meet them and we're beyond that's for sure. But I could see the fail theory working somewhat and then it failing because I don't believe Robert Kirkman wants the cure aspect to actually be the end game of the show, but you never know. And this could be Gimple or Negretti or somebody else pulling the strings and be like, this is the way the show needs to end. Now I believe this is the grave of Dr. Bennett's wife, Carrie Bennett, the mother of Hope and Iris. Now back to this picture, right? Let's highlight the Civic Republic. Why is that written there? What state region is that? The mountain time zone. Is it Nevada? Is it Utah? Not sure exactly, but it's definitely the mountain time zone. When did we see a group that's like the Mountaineers? With Michonne in season 10, episode 13. Now I'm calling them Michonne's Mountaineers. Are they the Pioneers? Are they some other name? I don't know. But is it a possible connection that this group left that area because of the Civic Republic, CRM, which is the Civic Republic military, and they went east instead of going west, like our settlers did so many years ago. Now back to this picture, right? I bring this picture up a lot because it highlights so many different things. We see the plane crash, we see the helicopters, we see the DNA, and we also see the gates of the campus colony. And that's clearly there with Huck and Felix, and they're gonna be big parts of the show, I'm guessing, and it just makes sense because we have to have like an adult supervision role. We can't just be watching kids be kids because that would be kind of annoying potentially. And we're gonna see the whole idea of this is how you kill a zombie or kill a walker or an empty, they call them empties on the show. And we're going to meet Elizabeth Kublik, right? And I find this outfit very interesting. She wears black underneath a gray jacket. So black usually means evil, bad, in shows, doesn't always, but gray means a little bit of both, and white means pure, angelic, good, and that's just symbolism in shows and movies, but is Elizabeth Kublik pure evil, pure good, or a little bit of both? And to be honest, I really hope this show is good, and it's much more than, hey, you wanna find out about CRM? You wanna find out where Rick went? You gotta watch this show. I really hope we like these characters, and clearly Hope and Iris, this is Iris right here, and she's going to give a speech on Monument Day, which is a big day, 10 years that they've been living in this campus colony for 10 years, and they've been living. You can see her speech at the top. We say that it's called Monument Day because we are monuments to the past, and it's a big day. But we're also going to see Iris has a printer and it's connected of a way to deliver messages to and from her father. I'm guessing at least from her father. And it's interesting because this is gonna play a factor of where Dr. Bennett is. And if you saw in another teaser trailer, there's several teaser trailers that Iris says he's somewhere in New York. So Dr. Leo Bennett or Dr. Bennett, whatever you wanna call him, is in New York, or at least was at some point of the story. And later on in the sneak peek of the opening episode, you're going to see this message from her father. Well, messages, previous messages. My girls, I made it safely here. Everyone welcoming so far, more soon, I love you. When it's tough, remember it is bigger than us. I am proud to do important work and hope you can be proud too. Things are going well. We are making progress. Love, dad. So I'm guessing he's working on a cure for the virus, the genetics of everything, because everybody's infected. And then in another message, I'm sorry, I won't be back for Monument Day. Sending these messages are a risk, but I need you both to know I'm okay. And then if you look to the left, it's hard to read, but it says, Will says hi at the bottom, talks about Felix a little bit, and he's doing his exercises. And you know, they just have correspondence. And I wonder if we're going to meet Will or if Will is another character, it's at the very bottom, it says Will says hi. So I wonder if that's a character we'll meet in the Rick Grimes movies. And then in another teaser, it says this, my exclamation point to safety, not assure, pound sign. So if this is from Dr. Bennett, their dad, he's in danger. So things aren't going well. And it's probably because the cure is failing. It's not working. So if his genetics cure angle is not working, CRM is probably gonna get rid of them or something bad is happening. And then look at this. Felix says, 
He's breaking the Four Corners Agreement by even sending us these messages. And I'm sure the messages are from Dr. Bennett to Hope and Iris saying that he's okay. But it says Four Corners Agreement. So it's not three regions or three groups or three anything. It's three rings, but four corners. And we only have three shows. But is the fourth corner the Rick movies? And we clearly see Portland, Oregon, Civic Republic, Omaha Campus Colony. Three things on the map. So where's the fourth area? Is it Pennsylvania? Is it New York? Don't know, but I believe it's somewhere in the Northeast. So CRM looks to be expanding or all throughout the United States. So I'm guessing they have the Pacific Northwest, the mountain time zone, you know, where the Civic Republic is, whether it's Utah, Nevada, or wherever, Omaha, and I guess Texas area, and also the Northeast around Virginia, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York area there. They can at least get to Virginia from where they're at. And it's also very interesting because on The Walking Dead, we only saw helicopters. On Fear of the Walking Dead, we only saw a helicopter. On The World Beyond, we saw a helicopter and also other military heavy duty transports that are carrying some sort of container or something in the sky. Now we clearly see that they have weapons and they're a military of a civic republic military. So they have gas and a way of getting around and helicopters and transports and weapons and gear. And they're not good people. They are ready to take down any person that gets in the way. Now we're going to see hopefully some connection with the Northeast, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, something like that at some point of this show and or the Rick movies. But did you catch these things? Is this some sort of connecting here with the map? I think this gives away a lot. We'll have to see how it goes down. What do you make of it, guys? Do you think of the DNA angle and the Civic Republic being out of Colorado, Nevada, Utah area right there in the map of the United States? Portland, Oregon, Omaha, Nebraska, you know, New York, Pennsylvania. I can't wait to find out. It sounds awesome to me, if it makes sense. I really hope the show is entertaining and it fills in the gaps of CRM and everything related to the Walking Dead universe. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Stay safe and tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love you guys.